most developers use GitHub Copilot for the code suggestion. And while those are great, not using the other features Copilot has is a waste of money. Because the truth is that GitHub Copilot can do so much more than inline suggestions. It can chat with you, write commit messages, explain errors in the console, write documentation, help you configure your VS Code, and more. You can even use it with your voice and feel like Tony Stark talking to Jarvis. And that is why today I want to show you some of the less known but super useful GitHub Copilot features to make you even more productive and get you your money's worth. The main feature of GitHub Copilot are the inline code suggestions, which is where we will start. We know that all we have to do is start writing code and when we get a suggestion, we can accept it by pressing the tab key. But what many don't know is that sometimes GitHub Copilot can reach on alternative suggestions and we can switch between multiple options by using keyboard shortcuts. So the next time you get a suggestion, instead of accepting the first one you get, you can press Alt plus right square bracket or Alt plus left square bracket to see the next or previous suggestion and then press Tab to accept. If you are in Mac OS, it will be Option plus right square bracket or Option plus left square bracket. If you want to see multiple suggestions in one tab, press Ctrl Enter and then click Accept Solution above the suggestion you want to accept. Sometimes when a suggestion is partly complete and you don't want to accept the whole thing, you can press Ctrl plus right arrow or Command plus right arrow in Mac OS to only accept the next word of the suggestion. The next best thing about GitHub Copilot is the GitHub Copilot chat. For this to work, make Make sure that apart from the GitHub Copilot extension, you also have the GitHub Copilot chat extension. You can use Copilot chat in three different ways. Chat view, inline chat, and quick chat. To open the chat view, click on the icon in the activity bar, which will show you a chat window with an input box to type a question and chat with Copilot. To make the chat view experience more powerful, you can use agent. Copilot chat has three agents you can use, workspace, terminal, and VS Code. To mention an agent, write the add symbol in the input box. The workspace agent has knowledge about the code in your workspace, so you can ask it questions about your files and their content, and it will help you find the relevant files, functions, or classes. The terminal agent has knowledge about the terminal. So it can help you when you need to run a command but you don't know what the flags are or what the correct syntax is. You can send a suggestion from the terminal agent to the console directly by hovering over the suggestion and clicking the terminal icon. The VS Code agent knows about the commands and features of VS Code itself. So if you need to change a setting in your VS Code but you don't know where to find it or how it is called, this agent can tell you where it is and how to configure it. Apart from agent, you can also use commands. For example, to know what some code is doing without the need to copy paste, select a piece of code and then run the slash explain command to get an explanation of what the code is doing. To open the chat view in quick chat mode, press Ctrl Shift or Command Shift in Mac OS to open a window where you can still use agents and commands but in a pop-up rather than in the sidebar. To run commands directly within your code, use inline chat. Inline chat opens a tiny chat window on top of the code you are working on. To open it, press Ctrl or Command I. In the inline chat, you can ask general questions to Copilot. You can ask it to generate code, and once it does, you can accept or discard the suggestions. And if you open inline view with selected code, you can use commands like slash explain that we saw before, or slash doc, fix, and tests. The slash doc command can help you write the documentation of a function. The slash fix command can help you fix a problem in a function with errors. And my favorite one, the slash tests command writes unit tests for your code, which I love because tests are important but incredible boring. Writing a commit message that describes well the changes made to the code is important, but many of us are not good at it. So if you're like me, next time you go write a commit message, click on the sparkles at the right of the message box. Copilot will take a look at your files and will actually write fairly good and pretty specific commit message on the changes that were made. To get the Tony Stark experience, first you need to install the VS Code speech extension that adds text to speech capabilities to GitHub Copilot chat. Then you need to configure what you want to happen when you activate GitHub Copilot with your voice. For this, open your settings.json file and set the accessibility.voice.keyword activation setting to what kind of chat window you want to open with your voice. After saving, all you have to do is say the words, hey code, and it will open a chat window where you can speak to Copilot. And next time you get an error in the terminal, before copy pasting the error in Google or ChatGPT, click on the sparkles icon that shows up next to the command that caused the error and you will get an explanation of what went wrong and suggestions on how to fix it. That's it for this video. If you found it useful, please like it, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. As you can see, 
more than replacing us, AI is making us infinitely more productive. But more than using AI, what is cooler is knowing how it's made, because it isn't magic, and anyone can learn how to build AI applications. What is even better than that is learning for free. And that is why Year Dream School is sponsoring this video. The Ministry of SMEs and Korea SMEs are recruiting 200 people to join a free AI education program called Year Dream School. Year Dream School runs for 10 months, teaches from the very basics of AI to the advanced level of data science and data engineering. The program will be divided into two tracks for data science and data engineering, with job-specific specialization courses. There will be startup partnership projects, Kaggle competitions, and also networking events with alumni. In addition, there will be graduate-only career fairs. And for those who want to do their own startup, there will be a separate track for entrepreneurship, where the school will provide mentorship with IR pitching. All of these 10 months of education are completely free. Anyone under 39 who is eager to learn AI can apply, regardless of his or her education level or previous career background. The school will recruit a total of 200 students, 100 each for online and offline programs. It is one of the shortest pathways for non-majors to become AI developers. We did a promotion for Year Dream School in 2022. This is their fourth year running the program. The school continues to grow and improve each year. It now boasts of hundreds of graduates and alumni. Applications are open right now, so please check out the link below. Thank you for watching as always. See you on the next one. Bye bye.